My name is Elena Rupert, I'm the store manager. Ben Horn is hiding somewhere there in his uh, Marimekma shirt. Ben Horn is the owner of Finstyle. And this is our new location. We moved here in February. Uh, I'm sure there are a few of you who have never been here. So welcome. This is our eighth year uh, to have Finstyle store. Uh, we got some exciting news through Newsweek in August, um, and just as a good Finn uh, would do, they uh, they when Finnish uh, people in Finland learned about this study uh, that Finland was number one country to live in, uh, there were quite a few people who raised their voices and said that. You know, why don't you check that study? Maybe it didn't go right. <laughs> so we'll have uh, a panel of people here uh, tell us what they think about the study. And um, I'm very pleased that uh, all these five uh, people have joined us here today. And Dan Tarbonen will introduce um, the panel to all of you today. Dan Karvonen is the Finnish professor at the U of M for um, the Finnish professor. And uh, his Finnish is most likely much better than mine, although I grew up in Finland. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, Dan, for uh, taking the lead on this. Yes. And, and uh, so he'll make sure that uh, all the panel panelists will have a chance to say a word or two. And uh, then in a little bit, after we kind of get the panel going, we'll give a chance for all of you to, uh, or at least some of you, to ask a few questions uh, so that we can have a little bit of a exchange conversation. Welcome, everybody. I am sorry to tell, but our bulla, the Finnish cinnamon rolls, were so successful <laughs> that there's one left. <laughs> three! Three! So, please, no seconds today. Uh, and there's also a fun new recipe uh, one of our employees tried. Chocolate beet cake. Wow. Just the Finn would try that. <laughs> Welcome again, and dance. Kiitos Elina ja hyvää päivää kaikille. Kuten Elina sanoi, nimeni on Dan Karvonen ja olen suomenkielinen lehtori Minnesotan yliopistossa. Ja haluaisin toivottaa teille kaikki tervetulleeksi tänne keskustelemaan siitä, miten ja miksi Suomi valittiin Newsweekin mukaan maailman parhaaksi maaksi. So, I will not, if I scared you with that. Since it's a Finnish discussion, we should start in Finnish. And for those of you that understood, how many people understood what I said? Awesome. Good, excellent. And the rest of you should come take Finnish with me at the U. <laughs> so anyway, um, my name is Dan Karvonen. Um, so I, I'm the Finnish lecturer at the University of Minnesota. I've been there since 2002. And um, I'm actually um, Finnish American. I grew up right here in the Twin Cities. In fact, my parents grew up right well, about Glenwood. seven blocks away from Glenwood Avenue. My mom is from 1215 Glenwood. So, which is just on the other side of International Market Square, which is the old Fintown, in case you didn't know. By Milda's Cafe. By Milda's Cafe, just before that, exactly. So my parents grew up right there. Um, but when I was in high school, I was an exchange student in Finland, so I've had the Finnish perspective, too. I lived there for a year in high school, and then also a year as a graduate student. I was at the University of Helsinki. So anyway, what I said was, I'm the moderator of the panel today, and I'm here to um, invite you, uh, to welcome you all to discuss why, how and why Finland was chosen according to Newsweek. Um, to be the best country in the world. So before we get started, I'd like to introduce our panel members. And starting here on, I guess that's your left, your far, far left, we have Mauno Silpala, who is born and raised in Finland, um, went to work at the age of 16 in a bank as a messenger boy, so got early work experience, came to the US in 1966, um, graduated from Carleton College in 1970, and then continued after that in the banking and finance um, sector and work for Northwestern National Bank in Minneapolis, which is now the current Wells Fargo, as you probably know. And then in 1988, went to work for the UN in Vienna and continued um, in that 
uh, for working for the UN for 17 years in the Middle East primarily. So that's Mama Seal on your on your left, and then to um, next next coming in from there is um, Jennifer Niemela, and Jennifer is a business journalist and managing editor of DeWitt Publishing, which is an entrepreneurial magazine publisher based in St. Paul, Minnesota, um, and is also um, a Minneapolis St. Paul Business Journal television correspondent. And you may have seen her in the in the every Friday morning she has a local business report on Fox 9 TV. So if she looks familiar, that's why. Um, and Jennifer's a third generation Finnish American. I'm fourth generation, so I, I guess I beat you or you beat me. <laughs> I don't know. You're closer, I'm farther, but I have more history here. Um, so Jennifer lived in Finland for more than three years, so actually longer than me, and, and earned a master's degree from the University of Helsinki. And Jennifer's also the treasurer of the newly formed Finnish American Chamber of Commerce, which you might have heard about recently, that was just newly reformed. Um, and Jennifer got her BA from the University of Minnesota, which is a wonderful institution, I might say. <laughs> and then um, the next person on the panel, right smack dab in the middle, is Jana Biljakainen. And Jana is originally from the town of Rantasalmi, so which is near Savonlinna, if you've heard of that city in Finland. Um, she has a master's in literature from the University of Joensuu in eastern Finland. And um, Jana and I work very closely together right now because Jana is currently a teaching assistant in the Finnish program at the <coughs> University of Minnesota um, as a Fulbright language teaching assistant. So Jana's in my classes all the time and teaches part of the classes and the students get to know Jana very well as there are a few students here that, that know that. Know that. Um, so that's Jana. And then the next person is um, Jako Mursu, right here. And Jako is a nutrition epidemiologist. Hope I got that right. Yeah, you got yeah, it right. Okay. That's a, I've never seen that title, but I love that title. <laughs> it's a real one. Good. And I have lots of questions for you actually about this. Okay, yeah. Anyway, so uh, which means that he studies the role of nutritional factors um, play in chronic diseases such as cardiovascular diseases and cancer. Um, completed his doctoral degree in Finland a couple of years ago and is now um, as a postdoc is at the University of Minnesota for two years. And I think you completed your first year, Gerald? Or you're, yeah, you're in your first yeah, year? Yeah. Uh, I've been here for a year, for so i got already. another year, year to go. This is your yeah. second year, yeah, right. Second year. right. And one of the things he's studied in his doctoral work is um, flavonoids and their effect on cardiovascular diseases. So these are the things that are found, you probably heard about them, read about them in the paper, found in fruits and vegetables, tea, red wine, and also chocolate. And these are, he found that in addition to fruit and vegetables, um, the dark chocolate may be good for your heart, so I'm very excited about that. <laughs> so I'm going to talk to him more about that because I like chocolate and I kind of stay away from chocolate, but now I can go back to dark chocolate. <laughs> according to Yako, that's all to say. According to Yako. So, and then um, the last person on the um, and on the panel, but in Finnish we would say "sokeri pohjala," which is the sugar on the bottom. And they have a wonderful expression said last but not least, it's the sugar on the bottom, which I like. Is Marko Tananen, who is from Lieksa. Um, as he says in his own words, a tiny town in eastern Finland, mm -hmm. but actually from the same general sort of area as Jana, so we have sort of two eastern Finns here, um, and has his MA in sociology from Joensuu University also, and a PhD in sociology from Vienna University in Austria, um, and specialized in European integration, immigration and human rights, and has been here in Minneapolis since September of 2009. Um, and he's a freelance journalist and a researcher that advocates for human rights. So, as you can see, we have a quite varied panel. We have both um, um, four, four native Finns and one American American Finn, and we have people with really different sort of different depths of experience being here. People that have lived in Finland very recently, people that have been here longer, and obviously a lot of different sort of backgrounds. So we'll give you hopefully a, a, a balanced and sort of you know a varied view of of Finland. All right. So before we jump into the big question, which is the question that Newsweek posed, we wanted to start out with a little spelling bee because I think some of you maybe read that. <laughs> I think maybe some of you read the article in Thursday's paper, on the Friday page, and they were talking about these two words, and I think the words there were luonnollisesti. Everyone try luonnollisesti. Those are you know. You all get an A for that, yeah. Which means naturally and kunnian osoitukset. Uh, I need a little more work on that one. <laughs> Not so bad. But anyway, we're going to do a little spelling. We're going to do a little spelling bee just to start out. And um, 
Incidentally, the spelling bees are completely foreign in Finland, aren't they? They don't really exist. <laughs> and, and it's really easy to spell Finnish, contrary to what the article said. Um, it's, Finnish is basically um, written pretty much the way it's pronounced. And yeah. Finnish, Finnish kids don't have to spend much time learning how to spell. So American kids, right, or any English-speaking kids, have to learn, have to spend a lot of time learning how to spell. And Finnish kids just can bypass that, and that's why maybe their education is so good. <laughs> yeah. it's like they're not trying to spell words like us, even as adults, right? English speakers as adults, we still have spelling problems, right? I mean, everybody has a few words that they have a problem with. So we're not going to do a spelling bee in the traditional way because Finnish people just don't spell words. Because, you know, for example, when I went to Finland, I was so excited. My whole name, my my whole life, my last name, I've had to spell. And then when I went to Finland, I remember the first time I went and got film developed. This is back when you actually got film developed, as opposed to, you know, just printing it out on your on your printer. And I said my last name, and they just spelled it. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, what? You know how to spell my name? And they looked at me like I was crazy. <laughs> and of course, it's a Finnish name. So anyway, so Finnish people don't really spell very much. But we're going to do it a little bit of a different way. We're going to have, um, we're going to have the four native Finns. So we're going to give them these big pieces of cardboard. And we're not, instead of having them say the letters, because that's a kind of a foreign concept, is to say the letters out of Finnish, we're going to have them write it out, because we know they all know how to write, because they all are products of the Finnish education system. And Finland is claimed to have 100% literacy, literacy. So we should at least get something written on the cardboard, I think. OK, and we're going to have two words, and we're going to see sort of how they do. Pardon? Oh, and three? Ooh. Yeah, I don't know. No, no, no. Left-handed. No. All right-handed. All right-handed. All right-handed. All right-handed. All right-handed. Canadian. Okay. So the first, the first word is actually two words, but it's a, but it's a good word. It kind of relates to something we'll be talking about today. So plan your, plan your space well, participants. It's, it is ansio sidon nainen pyrtymys. <laughs> it's two words. It's two words. We're cheating a little bit, but they're both long words, so we're not cheating so much, right? Oh! Is it correct? Yes. Yes. Is it correct? Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm the last one. There we go. All right. What are the prizes? What are the prizes? Do we, oh, the do we get a prize for the fast one? The crumbs on the plate. <laughs> <laughs> What does it mean? Yes, this is a great. This is a great one. I think um, it, actually, Mauna would like means, to say. It means ansio um, um, and means something tied to your level of income, and päiväraha means a per diem. Uh, so, uh, työttömyys means unemployment. So it's a, it is a, it is a, a unemployment uh, per diem based on that is tied to your previous income. And there's a there's a there's a related concept that we're, I'm not going to have everyone spell because it's very similar, but it's ansio sido nine and softball. And in Finnish, when you get a fine, for example, if you're driving um, driving over the speed limit, then um, you get fined based on your income, oh, yeah. which oh, I love yeah. this idea. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, isn't that great? Yeah, but we gotta work on that one.